Rejoice 1023, an exciting mix of music and ministry. Welcome to Mortgage Talk with your host, Rick Montgomery. During the broadcast, you'll learn the ins and outs concerning your mortgage and how to manage your finances when owning a home. Now, here's your host, Rick Montgomery with Mortgage Talk. It's like a good neighbor, State Farm is there for you. From the Douglas Bradley II office, located at 8660 Broadway, Merrillville, Indiana. We have the friendliest staff this side of heaven, anxiously waiting to serve you. Your needs become our priority. We are very prompt, professional, and courteous. We will keep you informed with up-to-date information when it concerns you and your family. We specialize in tailoring our products to your unique situation. The information you choose to share with us will be kept in the strictest confidence. We look forward to growing with your family and the needs that develop. We spoil our customers. We will not take your business for granted. We represent State Farm, but we work very hard for you. Our team members are Agent Douglas Bradley II, Angela Harris, Deborah Murphy, Kenneth Thames. You can contact us at area code 219-756-3700. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there for you. Well, all right, and thank you, and welcome to Mortgage Talk. Uh, we're here, and we are streaming nationally throughout the Internet. We're streaming worldwide. We stream to over 200 countries that let us come into their neck of the woods, and we're happy to do so to bring you Mortgage Talk. And we're streaming through one of our favorite directories, Speaker.com. Glad to be here with you guys here on Speaker.com. You can always get me at Speaker.com forward slash 8501589. Each show has its own number, but you will be able to get us here. And our day's topic is talking about qualifying through FHA. And we also talk about a Title I loan that's applied on manufacturing homes, better known as mobile homes. So we're going to talk about that too, just as well. Just got through uh, finishing up on Block Talk Radio. Glad to talk to our people out there on Block Talk. And we're glad to talk to you on Speaker.com. And we're glad to be here with you today on Speaker.com. We're streaming to WHPNN Radio Network. That's where we're streaming from through speaker.com. Joining me, of course, in the studio is our engineer, Dave the Man. He's here with us here. He's our engineer here at WHPNN Radio Network. And we thank him for, for the wonderful things that he's done, as, as well as thanking the people behind the scene as engineers at speaker.com, thanking them so well. They do such a fantastic job down there at speaker.com. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, don't forget that tomorrow night on speaker.com, will be club Saturday night. Uh, jamming that box who would be that jam master. So he's going to be on club Saturday night, tomorrow night at 1130 is when they will kick it off and they'll kick it off because they come on on the first Saturday and the last Saturday of the month right here on speaker.com. Don't want to miss it. They're going to be jamming oh, good old school jams. Tune in, pop your fingers, get your little wine, get, get, get whatever you have and sit back and enjoy some good, decent, good songs. And I know they're going to be talking about Sade and, and playing her new single. I heard them say that. So, so, so you got it from Mortgage Talk that they're going to be talking about Sade and playing her new single. I like Sade's music. I, I really do. Um, I want to go into FHA. A lot of good information here. A lot of good information. Kind of, kind of went over a little bit on, um, on Blog Talk. So I do apologize for being just a little delay with uh, you all here. Uh, but we are here and thank the great I am for us being here. So I want to talk about FHA. FHA uh, uh, is one of the most popular single family ho- uh, home programs out there that insures mortgage because it is an insured mortgage program. FHA has been helping people since 1934. FHA is an agency within HUD. The initials of FHA stands for the Federal Housing Administration, which is part of HUD, that ensure loans so your lender can offer you a better deal. In other words, 
HUD is the investor and the lender is the servicer. You need to know this because you will receive after you close on everything and make your payments, you're going to receive your statement. Your mortgage statement is going to have your loan number, which is usually in black and above it and in a corner is going to be in red or even on back of the statement will be in red. It would be your FHA case number. That is assigned to a FHA representative. There is a phone number there too. And what you should do is contact that number and find out which representative in what state will be handling your loan. That's your investor. And keep that documentation information down the road. I'm going to go back to this as we wind now, but I'm, but I'm just giving to you right now. Okay. That's good information to have. Cause remember mortgage talk is all about an educated consumer, our best customer. Okay. So FHA is your investor. And the lender is the servicer. Or in other words, the lender is like a, uh, a, um, a management company that's managing the operation for HUD. HUD does not loan money. Their programs help lenders to sign up and stay under HUD's guidelines. And their program allows the lender to be able to, as I'm going to mention earlier, lower some of its criteria standards so it can help people to qualify. Okay. You see, HUD insures more than six million mortgages in the United States. FHA insured lenders against losses to encourage them to invest their money in the mortgage market and relax eligibility criteria so low income borrowers can have the American dream and be able to put down a adequate down payment. Okay. Your down payment under FHA is 3.5%. Of the purchase price available on one to four units, better known in the mortgage market as the residential market. Anything that's more than four units, five to six and seven, is considered a commercial market, and that's a different monster. And FHA don't go over there, at least not under this FHA program. So under the residential market, one to four units can qualify under FHA with a 3.5% down. Now, I remember back in the great days, back in the good days, you know, uh, 1999, 2002, and six and eight, when FHA only was a non-credit score driven and you can get 3% down. I mean, you can put 3% down and qualify for 97% of the loan. But Over time, nothing stays the same. Things do change. But FHA still has one of the most popular programs in the world. They set the standards for banks to follow and banks emulate these standards with a DTI ratio of 24 over 36. What that means is that your monthly income, which, what your current bills are now, cannot supersede 24%. Adding in the new mortgage payment after you sign that promissory note, that promissory note payment cannot supersede 36%. Now, if you go, that's the same percentage ratio that is used in conventional loan. 
under non-conforming loans, that ratio is different and higher. But there are some penalty points that you're paying for that because you're allowed to have a higher debt. Your interest rate will be a little higher because you're allowed to have a higher debt. Your LTV, another mortgage term, loan to value will be lower. Okay. Instead of you getting at 95, you may get 90. Okay. So you're getting at 100, you get 90. Okay. Are you with me? Or am I by myself? I heard a wise man say. These are the DTI criteria for FHA. Okay. The credit score, and you're going to see this different when you go on the internet. You're going to see different criteria scores. You're going to see 580. Then you're going to see something that's going to say 500 or under. Then you're going to read something that's going to say lenders require you to have a 620 or a 640 credit score. Rick, is this true? Answer yes to all above. I'm going to bring it all together and explaining that to you. Okay. The minimal credit score of 580 is needed to meet the minimal down payment requirement of 3.5% plus closing costs. Now, many lenders may require you to have 620 or 640 credit score. But FHA requires a credit score of at least 500 and you can still qualify for FHA loan. Now, let me explain all that and bring it together. If you have a credit score of 580, you will qualify for an FHA loan and you'll qualify for the minimal down at 3.5%, which means FHA is going to bring 96.5% to the closing table. Okay. If you have a score at 500 or under the 580, then you're going to need at least 5% down payment to meet. Okay. Could be a little bit more with some lenders. Okay. But 5%. Now, now understand this. Anything under 500 credit score is a underwriter consideration. Which means that that underwriter now must show justification of why they are putting you on an FHA loan when your score is under 500. That underwriter puts that servicer more liable when they do that. Okay. And trust me, servicers don't like to be liable for, for, for people that has 500 credit scores or, or under. I can guarantee you that. All right. Okay, they rather give money to a dog than 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 to extend that to you. But there are certain exceptional points there. But again, that lender and some lenders do do that. They do bundle up those kind of loans and sell them off like that. So there is a possibility. So in other words, um, jumping back to the lender that requires you six twenty and six forty, why is that? Well, FHA allows their certified lenders to be able to set certain criteria too because these servicers are going to not only service a loan but they're going to maintain the loan in their portfolio most of the time they keep these loans for 20 years 10 years 30 years in their portfolio okay so they want in their portfolio a criteria level of credit score because statistic tells them that people that have credit scores of 620 to 640